Excel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2019, Question 10. Prove that for all n in the natural numbers, n squared plus 2 is not divisible by 4. There are a few ways to tackle this. The way we're going to look at it here is by looking at it for even numbers and then odd numbers. So to start with, let's assume that n is even. This means that we can write n as 2k, where k is a natural number. If n is 2k, then substituting this into n squared plus 2 gives us 4k squared plus 2. Well, 4k squared must be divisible by 4, as it's a multiple of 4. So 4k squared plus 2 can't be divisible by 4. Okay, It is a multiple of 4 plus 2. We've shown it for the even numbers, so let's do the same for odd numbers now. So we're going to assume n is odd. So n equals 2k plus 1 for some k in the natural numbers. Again, substituting this in, we get that 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 for the square of 2k plus 1 plus the 2 that was already there. Now, if we rewrite this as 4, lots of k squared plus k plus 3, again, we've got a multiple of 4 plus a number that isn't divisible by 4, the 3. So 4, k squared plus k, plus 3, isn't divisible by 4. So now we've shown it for even numbers, we've shown it for odd numbers, therefore it's not true for any n. For part 2, given x in the real numbers, the value of the modulus, 3x minus 28, is greater than or equal to the value of x minus 9. We need to state giving a reason if the above statement is always true, sometimes true, or never true. So again, for this one, we're going to split it into two cases. We're going to look at the 3x minus 28 when it is positive, and we're going to look at it when it's negative. So starting with the positive part, 3x minus 28, we're going to go with greater than or equal to, as in the statement, x minus 9. Removing x from both sides, adding 28 to both sides, gives us that 2x is larger than or equal to 19, hence x is larger than or equal to 9.5. We're now going to do the same thing, but this time instead of positive 3x minus 28, we're going to take the negative part of it. So we're going to say minus brackets 3x minus 28, and again greater than or equal to x minus 9. So the left-hand side becomes minus 3x plus 28. So now if we add 3x to both sides, add 9 to both sides, we get 37 as larger than or equal to 4x. So x is smaller than or equal to 9.25. So for our statement to be true, x has to be larger than or equal to 9.5, smaller than or equal to 9.25. So there's a gap in the middle there where it's not true. So therefore, our statement is sometimes true because it's false for x in between 9.25 and 9.5. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.